All right, and welcome back. We're actually here in the hub. Last time we looked for the runes of the ancient order. Lily was hoping to speak with uh, a head scribe at the Brotherhood of Steel. And uh, the only way to do that is to actually join their organization. Not that she has any interest in doing that, but it's a requirement to, I guess, at least get inside. So she'll play along. We didn't actually find the runes. Instead, we found Trent, which turned out to be a bit of a jackpot, actually. He had a submachine gun on him, and she was able to get that <laughs> and trade that for about 2,000 uh, bottle caps. So now she's secured the money for entering a contract with the water merchants. But uh, she's not going to do that until about maybe two weeks before time runs out. All right. She's going to sell this 9mm to Beth. It's ran out of ammo for this for a while ago, and uh, it is dead weight at this point. If she ever does find ammo, she certainly will buy this back, because it's uh, pretty much her fa it was her favorite weapon. <laughs> But uh, it's more or less useless right now. All right, she doesn't have any radiation pills. That was another thing we needed. I think it was Cabot warned us uh, of radiation at the Runes of the Ancient Order. All right, Beth doesn't even have enough bottle caps. I guess we'll take the difference in frag grenades. Seventy. Okay. And I guess what I'm wondering about is, don't know why she has that. Um, these things like the radio and the Geiger counter. Ideally, she'd like to store them in a container, but I don't know if that's actually safe. Meaning if uh, she puts it away, for example, in a crate at Fargo Traders, will it disappear eventually, or is it guaranteed that uh, she can come back and retrieve those items for later? I don't know. Alright, so... I think until I find out about that, I think she'll, uh, just for weight, she'll be giving some of his equipment to Ian, but she doesn't really want to do this in case he takes off, to be honest. <laughs> But uh, Geiger counter, motion sensor, and radio. Alright. I don't think these are very heavy. Tool set and... Uh... I think that's good for now. Alright. Alright, so go back to uh, Mitch at the Olin 1. Pick up some Rad X or Rad Away. And then I think uh, go back out. Start looking for Ancient Order again. <laughs> Alright, here's Rad Away. But that's it. Okay. How much is this stuff? 416 caps. I think we have one. I think what that means is uh, Ian's not going to get any. But she would like to have two for herself. Alright. So I think last time we were looking for the runes, we found a, I think it was Aditum, by the Boneyard. There was an area south of it that we should have looked at, but didn't. Gonna go back and see if uh, that's not the runes of the Ancient Order. But if it's not, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I think the only other avenue to pursue was... Alright, this area is... What we're talking about. First, I think we'll go here. 
I think it was uh, Skull who mentioned that if you click in the center of these world map circles, you'll actually spend time traveling on the world map <laughs> unnecessarily. So uh, I guess thanks for that, because every day does count, I think. I'm just discovering that. I think one rad scorpion. Just confident Ian can handle that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess the tails are worth something, right? Oh, it's these rats. Is that what's going on? Oh, wait for Ian to take care of the rats. Or he's not going to. I guess we'll leave the rats. Alright. <laughs> Downtown. Add it to him. Yeah, I don't think uh, I'm going to stop there. Alright, so going on to see what's south here. Alright, doesn't look very good. Making sure E is ready. Sure, Lily's ready. I think if anything does happen, I'll probably end up uh, running anyway. <laughs> it's not sure what we're even trying to prepare. Okay. Child with a real attitude. Chanter of the children. That sounds like uh, Cathedral of the Children. Or Children of the Cathedral. Teenager. A zombie. Okay. I don't think we've seen a zombie yet. Well, this Chanter seems to be in charge. I think she'll talk to him first. Saying hello, the Master's vision has made me truly alive for the first time. And he wants to share a story with us. Well, a bit of small talk. I think she'll hear it and then uh, try to find out what's where we are. There was once a man who was so full of hate that he nearly died. But now, praise the Master, praise the Holy Flame, <laughs> praise the Vineyard of Life. <laughs> we <Whee>! all right. <laughs> I was in. Uh, it's gone crazy. All right. Not informative at all. All right. Here, I guess, is the cathedral. Well, this is certainly not the ancient order. I think she was expecting it to be unoccupied. I think she'll at least talk to the teenager, maybe. Yeah, ask him what this place is about. This is the Cathedral of the Children of the Cathedral. Sounds kind of dumb, but the Master's... The Master's real smart. So I guess it must be okay. This is like another, uh, yeah, flower child. All right. So this is not the ancient order. I think she'd like to hear about the uh, master. Can't tell us about that because a night king would eat him. I think she's guessing night king is referring to uh, maybe 
zombies. Wow. Well, 